The first thing we're gonna start with, with our sea turtle pane, is our guidelines. And so our guidelines are going to start with one horizontal line going across the canvas on the center and another one going vertically, just like so. And then we're gonna do an extra two parallel lines on either side of these. And this is going to block out our entire painting and give us a nice grid to work with. And now keep in mind that comp compositionally speaking, um, whenever you're trying to create a lot of balance or emphasis in a specific point or what's called a focal point in art, you can pick any of these four crosshairs, like right here where there are these intersections. And these are naturally points of balance in artwork, especially with this particular 11 by 14 canvas that we're working on. So what we're gonna choose to do is put our sea turtle's face focused up here on our top left corner. And so that's where we're gonna start with our sketch is putting in our sea turtle's head. So it's just going to be a nice oval, just like so. And we'll develop out more of the details later on once we get all of our base painting in. Next thing you're going to put in is the shell. And the shell is gonna start just like uh, at the very edge of the oval or over here where the head is. It's gonna make curve nicely and then swoop down. It's like another big oval, except it just comes to a point over here rather than stay as an oval. So remember, this is very important that you swoop your shell right here. Very good. And now obviously we're gonna go ahead and put in his little flipper and his little flipper starts right here, goes behind the head. And then the other one is going to start around right here is where the shoulder is. You can put like a half an inch between the head and the shoulder. And then this arm is actually going to, actually this is gonna be a little higher. This arm is going to swoop out and come back down here, kind of like a banana just like so. And it's a little bit bigger than the other one because it's in perspective, it's closer to us, so it thus it will be a bit bigger than the rest of the proportions on this animal. But we'll do a little bit more finessing as we go along. We're just trying to get in these basic shapes so we can have some guidelines. And then don't forget to put in their little back flipper. It's just gonna be one showing, it's kind of like a little lumpy avocado at the very, very end. And if you wanna go ahead and get an idea of where your turtle's eye is going to be, their eye is gonna be just a little off from our focus points, it's going to be about right here. And we'll actually end up creating a nice little beak and lower jaw area down there. But we'll, like I said, get into that a bit more later. Next thing you wanna put in is our guidelines for our rocky outcropping and our coral. So this is going to be in the foreground, just like so. And I'm just making some nice little lumpy kind of cloud-like um, shapes. And this is just to give us an idea for building form and texture in the foreground. We're not gonna get too intense in the details in these guys. These are just going to be a little bit more um, abstract and impressionistic as we develop it. And now the last thing that we need to keep in mind is where our horizon line is. And even though, yes, we are underwater, we're gonna have a horizon line where the coral reef is in the background. So, we're gonna say that the sand is right here just below our center line. You're gonna be about an inch or half an inch below it. You don't want it right in the center. That does not necessarily balance your painting out very well. But we will have these rocky outcroppings in the background where these corals are in the distance kind of showing up. It'll be a bit more atmospheric. Again, I'll show you how to handle that in the following steps. Now that our drawing is all done, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the painting portion of this piece.